Hello game fans! I have finally updated my game development tools for programmers. If you would like to see my video for beginners, please click this link here. This list is for those who have some basic programming skills. The tools outlined in this video include both 3D and 2D engines and are used by everyone from one man bands all the way up to AAA huge large studios. I do outline the costs, but it's worth noting that Sony and Microsoft only permit developers who have passed their screening process to develop games for their platforms. So without further ado, let's get started! Let's start with Unity. Now Unity is not only my favourite, but also the most extensively used 3D game engine currently on the market. The latest version is packed full of features including new dynamic lighting updates and a fantastic standard shader. The new audio mixer allows you to change audio on the fly, to muffle or alter sounds and to time them perfectly with your character's actions. Unity is free to use for the personal edition and the professional version starts at $75 a month. Amazingly, the free version does not have a limited toolset but lacks support, reporting, analytics and cloud builds which can easily be added at a later date. Three development languages are officially supported, C Sharp, Unity Script which is basically JavaScript and Boo so it's really versatile even though Boo is deprecated. As this is hugely popular, it has a large amount of assets and plugins available to help you create your first game. The fact that it deploys to multiple platforms also means that you can widen the reach of your games. Unreal Engine The Unreal Engine powers hundreds of games as well as real-time 3D films, training simulations, visualizations and more. Unlike some of these engines, it works on both PC and Mac. I love this engine as it is going from strength to strength with each update. My favourite part is the blueprints, the visual scripting editor that means that you could do so much without coding a single line of code. However when it does come to coding you need to know C++, C++ which is not a great one for beginners. Unreal Engine is currently free to use but there is a catch. A 5% royalty starts after the first $3,000 of revenue, uh, but you don't pay royalties on film projects or contracting or consulting projects such as architecture or simulation or visualization. This is a very popular en engine that produces some stunning results and has been used for games such as Final Fantasy VII Remake, Street Fighter V, Hellblade, Eve, Rocket League, Ark and so many more. CryEngine CryEngine's award-winning visuals make this a very tempting development tool to start making your games in. With such games as Rise, Son of Rome, Far Cry and Homefront the Revolution under its belt, it is a hugely popular engine. Its array of lighting, reflection and depth of field options make stunning looking games, if you have the right artist. CryEngine uses C++ and Lua and cre can create games for PC, Mac, consoles and VR. However, its recent troubles have left many worried about its future. Recently, Amazon bought the code or licensed its software and CryEngine is enjoying a new lease of life in Lumberyard. However, Lumberyard is a different fork for the software and is essentially another product. Support for the standard CryEngine may be phased out over the coming years if they encounter further issues and Lumberyard may be pushed to the forefront. My favourite part of CryEngine is the designer tool which provides an easy to use interface for manipulating geometry. Not only can it be used for prototyping levels but the user can also create complex shapes and mes meshes which triangulate automatically. Anything can be created in Engine without the need for external DCC tools. It also works on PC and Mac. Shiva 3D Shiva 3D is a 3D game and application development suite that comes in a very easy to use yet very powerful WYSIWYG editor. Shiva can export games and applications to over 20 target platforms including mobile, desktop and consoles. The web version is currently free with additional packages at 
$200 for the Pro and $1000 for the Complete, which has all the bug tracking and reporting tools. It uses a Lua-like code language, and my favourite part is the real-time in-game editing where you can make changes to the assets mid-game whilst you're testing it. Some of the games and notes that have been built with Shiva include Prince of Persia 2, The Shadow and the Flame, uh, Atomic Ninjas, and Babel Rising 3D. Talk3D is a free open source game engine with no costs for starters or professionals. Talk3D comes equipped with a full suite of tools to allow you to produce high quality games and simulations. Sadly, there has been some complaints over art imports and if you use Blender for your 3D models, you may come across a few issues. However, there is a thriving community and recent updates which might have improved this. As it is open source, there is really no limit where this engine might grow. Talk3D is a primarily a PC program and can work on a Mac, but it is not officially supported. Amazon Lumberyard Lumberyard is a free AAA game engine deeply integrated with Amazon Web Services and Twitch with full source code provided. The suite is made up of CryEngine, AWS, Amazon Web Services, Twitch and Double Helix. Lumberyard users get access to full documentation, tutorials, forums and sample assets. Additional support for Lumberyard is available uh, via a AWS premium support plan, but you don't have to take that. Lumberyard is currently uh, free and it supports PC, Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Mobile support for iOS and Android devices are coming soon, along with additional support for Mac and Linux. As I said, it's currently free with no royalty contracts. However, online games must use the uh, AWS cloud or the Amazon Web Services for its online component, which may incur costs later on. It's currently only on PC and uses Lua and C++. If I was on PC, then this is where I would start. My favorite thing about Lumberyard is its extensive toolset, which includes a powerful art program and its online connectivity right out of the box. So that's the end of the 3D engine, so let's move on to the 2D game engines for the more advanced developer. Starting with Cocos 2D. Now Cocos 2D is a suite of open source cross-platform game development tools and developers can publish from a single code base to mobile, desktop, web and now even console. The core use C++ with additional JavaScript and Lua bindings. My favourite part is the brand new graphic renderer. The uh, Cocos 2D X renderer is optimised for 2D graphics with OpenGL. It supports skeletal animations, sprite sheet animations, coordinate systems, uh, effects, multi-resolution devices, textures, transitions, tile maps and particles. Some games that you might have heard of include Badland, Tales of Asteria and Dragon City. Best of all, it's completely free and available on both Mac and PC. Monogame. Monogame currently supports iOS, Android, Mac OS, Linux, Windows, Windows Store, Windows Phone and PlayStation 4 with many more on the way. According to my research, it says, by leveraging C Sharp and other .NET languages on Microsoft and Mono platforms, you can write modern, fast and reliable game code. Now I haven't tried this one myself, but I have heard good things. The recent game Towerfall Ascension uh, on Xbox and PlayStation 4 was created using Monogame, so it's definitely one to consider. Corona. Now Corona SDK is a cross-platform framework that allows developers to create 2D games and apps very fast using the easy to learn Lua. It is currently completely free and has produced thousands of games. The tools let developers create a game and publish it to iOS, to Android, Kindle, Nook, uh, TV and desktop without paying anything. Through this, developers are allowed a limited number of plugins such as ad monetization, in-app purchases, uh, but some of them are not supported by the starter SDK. Features available in the starter pack include basic shapes, lines, text, custom polygons, anchor points and groups uh, and containers as well as the ability for users to create their own splash screens. 
Now my friend Joe over at Fire Maple Games, he has created a number of games using this, including The Secret of Grizzly Manor, and he swears by it. Now there are so many out there to choose from, and others include things like Construct 2, Source, Game Maker Pro, Game Salad, Havoc, Fox, Monkey, Fusion 2.5. These are all great game engines, and many are covered in my beginners video, uh, as some of them are drag and drop engines. Uh, but they do not require programming knowledge. But I haven't covered them all here because there is enough 3D game engines and enough 2D game engines to get stuck into. Uh, so if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. If it's been useful, then please add a comment below, subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll be back with another video very soon. Finish him. To, to create games as well as just play them. And if, like me, you have this interest in creating games as well as just playing them, then it's not as hard as it used to be to get into the industry. Um, it used to be that uh, you'd need a solid uh, programming knowledge and maths degrees and you'd need some kind of design skills and all these other things. Uh